Now, New Year's Eve celebrations often involve fireworks, but they can actually have a negative impact on some people in our community. NBC 23's Natasha Trindade now tells us how the celebrations add to veterans suffering. Good morning, Natasha. Fireworks can actually resemble a gunshot quite a lot, and it actually affects the veteran community. The simple thing of just the smell of gunpowder can trigger something. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the noise. Every year, people across the world celebrate the end of the year with fireworks. What some don't realize is that these colorful lights can bother some of your neighbors who happen to be veterans. According to VeteranAffairs.gov, the brain is very good at pairing things, especially threats. Combat veterans and those who worked in combat zones compare threats with whatever was in that environment, including things they saw, heard, or smelled. Uh, most people, because it doesn't affect them, they don't consider it, they don't think about it, but it's something that we ask the community to, to consider while they're popping fireworks, if they're going to pop fireworks. Ortiz, who is a veteran himself, says his triggers depend on the situation and the environment that he's in. He also works with other veterans in the community to help them with their mental health in any way possible. We've actually been getting calls. I uh, actually helped out a veteran recently here in our community that uh, was reaching out because of fireworks and firearms being um, uh, set off at, by his neighbor. So we actually had to go make contact with the neighbor. We had to go through city ordinances, explain the city ordinance of fireworks and uh, fire, firearms. Setting off fireworks is illegal within city limits, and if caught, you could get fined. It is also important to remember pets during New Year's. Fireworks can scare your pets and cause them to run away. Local shelters urge you to get your pet microchipped and put contact information under color to make it easier to reunite you with them. For more information, you can visit our website, valleycentral.com. Reporting live from Harlingen, I'm Natasha Trindade.